I welcome everybody to this extraordinary meeting of the European Council, in particular our new Irish colleague, Enda Kenny. Dear colleagues, the situation in Libya is a cause of grave concern for us all, and the uprising of the peoples bring impressive changes to our whole southern neighbourhood, and these are positive changes. Good evening. We learned with great concern the news of the devastating earthquake and tsunami that struck Japan and the Pacific region. The European Council expresses its condolences and support to the people and the governments affected. We focused on Libya today. We have made clear to the Libyan authorities that the use of force against citizens must stop. Those responsible will face grave consequences. The current leadership must give up power without delay. All 27 say it loud and clear. The European Council welcomes and encourages the Interim Transitional National Council based in Benghazi, which is considered a political interlocutor. Almost a quarter of a million people have already left the country out of fear. The safety of the people must be ensured by all necessary means. The European Council expresses its deep concern about attacks against civilians, including from the air. In order to protect the civilian population, member states will examine all necessary options, provided that there is a demonstrable need, a clear legal basis, and support from the region.